Damn it, Kirby. Two missions in a row, no breaks. This sucks. Hey, don't worry about it. Drop in and out, done. <laughs> Chief, Provo 1 in sight. Drop in 30 minutes, get ready. Got it, Captain. We are ready. Okay, first let's grab our free resource off the Unreal Marketplace. We're going to get Paragon Murdoch. We're going to transfer his suit to a metahuman. First, grab the FBX file, set everything to zero, all the transforms, extract the FBX, put it where we can find it later, uncheck all the boxes, export it, then we'll move into Blender. We'll delete the cube and the light, we don't need that. We'll import the FBX, select the armature, make it invisible, get it out of its way, and then we'll start isolating the meshes into four components, the weapon, the helmet, the collar, and the suit. With your right mouse button, go to edit mode, select what you want and then keep expanding hitting control l select hit control l until you get everything you want to isolate then you hit p you'll get a menu that says selection and you do selection that will isolate that particular mesh sometimes there's several layers in these but you can either delete them or you can keep isolating and make them into separate meshes i'm just going to delete these now we've got the weapon isolated let's get rid of the rest of these little pieces that we don't need. The reason we're doing this is because Meta Taylor doesn't support gloves right now, so we got to get rid of all the gloves. Otherwise, it'll show up as a blob. So we've got the, the openings for the hands. The next thing we want to do is isolate the helmet because when we turn the head, we have to have the helmet as a separate mesh to fit on the metahuman head. So we're going to isolate that. Let's get rid of the mouth and the eyeballs. Hit delete, vertices. Now we have the suit isolated. The next thing we're going to do is extract a collar from the helmet because when the metahuman head turns, the whole collar will turn and it'll, it'll break through the other mesh. Same process, just select. You can't hit Control L on this because it'll select the whole helmet. So you gotta, you got to select each one of the pieces individually. Just do a Shift, Select, Shift, Select. If you don't hit Shift, you'll lose the part that you've already selected. So just keep using Shift, Select until you get the entire collar. And now we have our four separate meshes weapon, suit, collar, and helmet. We want to export each mesh separately. The thing we want to do is set the export to copy and selected meshes, label it appropriately, and do that for each piece, the helmet, the suit, the weapon, and the collar. Now we're finished. We're going to Meta Tailor, create our project, select our avatar that we've imported previously, and find our suit. Hit next step, select the full body, next step. Then we want to get the scale right. The key thing really is adjust around the neck. Meta Tailor is pretty good at, even if you're off a little bit, adjusting everything else. So get it aligned around the neck where you want it and make sure that it goes all the way down to the feet when you do the scale. Once you get the scale all set, get it in the right location, you hit confirm, then adjust the pose. Get it pretty close. If there's a little poke through, it'll adjust, but try to get the hands aligned where you want them, the elbows aligned where you want them, and everything else will pretty much adjust. And then the other thing you see in this case, one appendage is got to be separate, so you want to turn the mirror off so you can just work on that one appendage. So get that adjusted right, elbow, wrist, and then make sure the feet are fitting inside the boots. So take the ankles and the toes and move them in where you want them. Make sure the knees are where you want them, and everything looks good there. Now we're going to, again, hit to confirm, then next step. Let's take a quick look. It all looks good. Then the next thing we want to do is bring in the collar. So we import cloth, collar, next step, and then we'll get the scale and everything right, get it all adjusted where we want it. Once you get it all adjusted, hit confirm, and then next step. Now we have that. We want to move the collar down inside the suit, so we move it below the suit on the left-hand side. Now we want to export it, so we turn the avatar off because we don't want to export the avatar. We've named the file, put it where we want it and export it and we're done. Now we're back to Unreal. We want to import the Meta Tailor outfits we just did. When you select uh, the FBX file, you go in the right-hand corner, hit FBX file, otherwise this thing hangs. Bring it in, skeletal mesh, do the base metahuman for the skeleton, import it, and now we have our suit, skeletal mesh, we open it up, and we got to get our materials from the Paragon character. So we go down to the Paragon Murdoch materials, and we just start lining it up. They're all labeled body to the body, arms to arms, etc. And we don't need the visor because we don't have it on this. Save it. Now we're going to put this suit onto our metahuman. So we'll go select our metahuman, blueprint, go to viewport, take his flip-flops off, go to feet, 
and clear the skeletal mesh. Then we want to go to the torso. We want to import the skeletal mesh, the outfit that we just did. It worked out pretty well. Compile it, save it, and there he is. Metahuman with the Paragon Murdoch outfit on. Get him lined up there so you can see him side by side. And he can change the scale, make him a little bigger. He'll look, if he did that, he'd look more like the uh, Murdoch character. Then we're going to try a little animation here. Always turn off the control rigs so the animation will work. I have some animation I imported from iClone, but you can get your animation wherever you want to get it. And then you can see how we have a dressed metahuman character. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to go back to our wardrobe. We're going to import the helmet that we exported from Blender. But we're not going to use Meta Tailor for that. We're just going to import it and we're going to attach it to the uh, to the uh, metahuman. And you can do the weapon too. We'll import the weapon. But the process is the same for adding. We'll call these accessories. So same thing for materials. Select the skeletal mesh. Go to the Murdoch Paragon materials and just match up the labels with the materials. Save it. And now we're going to attach it to the head of the metahuman. So we want to Let's do the weapon, same thing, materials. Now the weapon's done, and go to the blueprint. We're gonna add the helmet. So we find the helmet, bring it in, attach it, move it down to face, because you're gonna attach it to the head. Then go over and select head, attach it to the head, and then you have to do an adjustment to get it positioned on the metahuman. Once you get it in position, you will compile and save. And then you just use the same process for any accessories, adding the weapon, whatever you wanna do. I'm going to take his hair off because his hair is poking through, so we're going to make that invisible. So go to visibility, turn it off, and then if, he, if we use him with the helmet off, we'll just add the hair back. There it is.